Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Sean here today bringing you guys my final thoughts on Black Ops 2. Now, I know I haven't made any videos recently. The last one I really made was like 20 days ago now, so I do apologize for that. It's just that I do have a lot of things going on in my life right now. In the last Enemy Bolt Spotted Talks video, I think I said I was moving. Uh, so yeah, that's actually coming up pretty soon now. I got a week and a half left in this house, and uh, I'll be moving out. And I'll probably do a whole new you know, PC gaming setup and stuff like that again. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And on top of that, I haven't really had anything planned, uh, but I do have some stuff in mind now. And actually, I actually have a lot of things I want to cover in the near future. So I'm probably going to make, I, I'm not probably, I am going to make a channel update video uh, right after this one. So expect that video in like a day or two. Um, I have a lot of things planned, so I, I need a full video to talk about it. So just so then you guys know what to look for in the near future. But anyway, without any more blabbering, let's get straight to the point of this video. Um, today, we're going to talk about my final thoughts on Black Ops 2. Just going to quickly scan over um, the single player because I know you guys aren't here for single player. But the single player was really fun. I really liked it. The story was probably, it is one of the best uh, of the Call of Duty series. Um, I, I, I don't think it's better than Black Ops 1 yet uh for the story wise I, I i don't know they're pretty damn close but uh in terms of gameplay in terms of the set pieces and the stages that we get to go through black ops 2 had some um excuse me uh, had some pretty memorable um you know levels and stuff but uh it didn't get to the point of you know um all gillied up from call of duty 4 nothing's gonna beat that uh in call of duty uh, sorry kind of burping i have a few beers in me so i apologize if uh, i get a little tipsy in this video uh but anyway yeah the single player overall was fun uh the story was really good one of the best in call of duty uh but overall it was just pretty fun uh, i don't like giving out scores i really don't like scores so uh, take that as you will all right so let's talk about the multiplayer the good stuff about the game and uh in one word i'll have to summarize the multiplayer for black ops 2 in one word it would be disappointing uh it really is disappointing uh not because just the ideas you know the gameplay design the the choices made in the game were bad it's just because of the overall package we got at the end of the day so with any other review like any other review i mean um let's talk about pros before we move on the cons so the pros the first thing uh features wise this is the most robust call of duty in my opinion the most robust one since call of duty 4 i, I think i can still say this is my favorite call of duty uh, since call of duty 4 uh, design choices wise the gun choices the the multiplayer balances the things you can do the pick 10 system everything was just top notch i honestly cannot think of a th like a thing in the game um you know design choices wise that that just turned out into a bad thing um i think you can debate that shotguns are kind of overpowered i really don't mind shotguns too much in this game like after going through the the cluster fuck storm fest that was modern warfare 2 with the shotguns in that game i honestly can't see how shotguns are overpowered in this game um the 870 is kind of annoying at times and especially on top of the leg comp which as you can know, probably already guess is a con later on in this video uh, on top of the leg comp the 870 can get quite annoying but overall shotguns really aren't that bad um, other guns i honestly can't think of anything that was too annoying this game the guns everything was just balanced really well on top of the picks 10 system where you get to choose six perks at once um it was surprisingly well balanced uh, right now off the off of the top of my head i really couldn't think of a perk that was annoying like ghost was done well everything was just done well features wise it was great unfortunately that's where the pros are going to have to end uh, everything else i'm going to be talking about in the rest of this video are either going to be cons or mixed things so let's begin with the thing that's not too too bad and that's the maps uh the maps overall um they're they're good they're designed kind of well but the big problem i have with the maps in block ops 2 is the fact that they're way way too symmetrical now i know treyarch is trying to go with the uh, whole esports approach and stuff and how everything needs to be super balanced but maps don't need to be a hundred percent symmetrical to do that uh, a lot of the maps um of course you can easily probably guess the ones that are totally symmetrical um stuff like meltdown comes to mind uh, stuff like plaza comes to mind they're basically exactly the same on each side of the map like they use different objects on the other sides of the map uh, but they're the exact same shape same size it's just so damn symmetrical it's annoying um you know that's that's a you know debatable good design like of course you won't really have like a side of the map that's uh you know more that has an advantage over the other side but it just gets boring uh, it really does get boring um before the first map packs came over black ops 2 i was just getting so bored of the base maps i couldn't freaking really play the game and have fun with it anymore uh, 
and when the when the DLC start coming out, we came into another problem. Way too many remake maps. Um, now I'm all for remake maps. I like remakes of maps. I like we're playing on Takeoff right now, and we just played on Dig. Uh, those are two remake maps, and I like how they look. I really like what they did with the maps. But don't ask people to pay for these. Really, like um, at least Infinity War gave out the remake maps for free. Um, I could be wrong. I know that I know that uh, Terminal was one that was given out for free, but there might have been another remake one that I forgot about. Uh, but like, don't ask people to play for them. We have uh, enough maps of the DLC map packs enough to make a map pack just full of remake maps. We got two on the last one. We got one on the last. We got one on the last map pack. I can't remember which one that was, and we got one on the one before that. That's four remake maps. That's a full map pack, and you're asking people to pay fifteen dollars for something that's basically reskinned. You know, something that people can easily do in. A weekend and don't say oh it's it, it takes a lot of effort to remake maps no it doesn't look at um look at a uh, steam hammer i can't remember what it's called um something hammer it's uh you know that the the source based uh, map editor for uh, source games it's not hard to change textures <laughs> if you have the geometry set uh so yeah don't ask people to re have the freaking pay for remakes it's kind of annoying uh, but overall the maps um kind of disappointing way too many symmetrical maps and way too many remakes but the ones that aren't symmetrical or remakes those ones are done really well i i haven't played this game in like almost a month now so i honestly cannot remember the names of some of the maps i really like but uh standoff of course that's uh that's a notable standout one that standout standoff <laughs> that's a notable standout one that isn't too symmetrical or a remake but you guys played the game you guys know what's good for you all right, the next con I wanted to talk about is quick scoping. Yes, I'm gonna freaking piss off the quick scoping uh, community right here. Um, you know, overall, just snipers in general. I really don't mind bolt actions uh, if they're you know sniped, if they're done properly. If people are actually quote unquote hard scoping, even though that's basically what sniping is. Um, I don't mind those semi-auto sniper rifles. Of course, if you if you guys see my rant from um, you know a few months ago now, you know my position on that matter. But quick scoping, I haven't really talked about in this video, or I mean for this game until this video uh quick scoping is freaking annoying um i don't like it i never liked it in any of the other call of duties and i definitely do not like how it's done in black ops 2 there's probably the most quick scopers in this game since modern warfare 2 now um that alone you know pisses me off of course but uh what pisses me off even more is the fact that you can basically tell treyarch are a bunch of sellout assholes because you remember their position with black ops 1 they made you know sniping very hard in that game and basically make made quick scoping uh completely irrelevant almost you only ever see a quick scope where every every you know like 10 games or so but you see one like almost every game now in black ops 2 um they completely shifted their position with uh quick scoping into what they do now with black ops 2 in just one game you can obviously tell freaking treyarch is trying to get the quick scoping community back so then you could just get that that small niche community to buy the games too instead of just sticking to to Modern Warfare 2. That pisses me off. They're just making the game. They're just selling out. They want as many copies that can be sold so then, you know, everyone can get into the game instead of just, you know, everyone else that enjoys uh, regular, you know, assault rifles and SMGs and stuff like that. That's my second con for the game. And finally, the last con in the game, you've probably already guessed it, the infamously well-known leg compensation and the net code overall in this game. Huge, huge problem. I really don't have to talk too much about uh, the light compensation in this game because I'm sure every single one of you guys know what it is. But, you know, what pisses me off about it the most is the fact that it's really bad in this game. You can really tell when people have the better side of light compensation than you do in games like when people kill you in freaking half a second and then you watch their kill cam. They're freaking spring over the place and not even hitting you. You're shooting first, but you're not even shooting on the screen. You know, you get the picture. You know what light compensation is. Huge, huge problem. I I, I don't understand why it's so bad in this game, especially since, you know, Treyarch did it fine in Black Ops 1 and basically every other Call of Duty did it fine in the past. I don't know what they did in this game. They just decided, oh, we need to remake the net uh, the net code because it was bad before. I don't know. It's it's a bad choice. Uh, let's let's keep it at that. But that's basically my final call of the game. Let's just talk a little bit about some of the mixed things I thought about this game. 
All right, so I only got two mixed things to talk about. These are things that are not necessarily good or bad, you know, just things that kind of bugged me throughout uh, my time with Black Ops 2. Now, the first thing is the matchmaking. The matchmaking is kind of weird because sometimes they'll put me into games where I absolutely love, you know, games where uh, <laughs> I get put onto teams where everyone else on the other team is a scrub and everyone else on my team is uh, kind of all right and, you know, vice versa. It's kind of weird that way. I don't, I don't understand how that works, like especially if you look into, you know, the skill factor they said they're gonna you know put skill as a factor now in matchmaking that's um that was patched in afterwards and it still didn't work well uh, the second thing is zombies yes zombies i know a lot of you guys like it so don't hate me it is still a fantastic game mode it works for what it wants to be but i just didn't like it i'm not a fan of zombies i kind of grew bored of it uh towards the end of black ops 1 and um you know coming into black ops 2 with you know people talking about the rumors before the game came out i thought they were going to go on to a, like a full-fledged zombie campaign or something like that and i was really excited for something like that but no they just basically stuck with the same old formula basically the same old survive as long as you can but we're just going to put a lot more complex things into uh you know a round based survival thing a uh, horde mode basically yeah what am i thinking uh we're just going to put more complex things into a horde mode where it's just so bloated that you basically cannot do everything in one sitting unless you're super lucky if you get some super uh you know you know lucky guns that you can get from the mystery box um i kind of got bored of that uh game mode it just felt really weird to have so much of the complex stuff into the maps it's just it's just too complex for me now and that's by no means a bad thing about the game mode i'm sure a lot of you guys love that aspect about zombies not saying it's a bad game mode it just wasn't for me so that is my review for black ops 2 i'm not going to give it a score because i hate scores like i said at the beginning so take this review at what you will um, i still enjoyed black ops 2 i love the ideas of it i had fun with it for the first like three four months but basically the net code was what killed the game for me so if you guys enjoyed my review for black ops 2 and um yeah my final thoughts on the game uh, this will be my last video on black ops 2 so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time this has been sean and i'll talk to you guys later peace out